Hi all. Now, this is a speaking cat. Nikki, it's from a friend of mine. And I've got this little present. And this is somehow the topic of our video today. But not only that we are, are responsible for our pets, but we are responsible for the animals on this planet, you know. I'm on Yahoo, but Jehu this time, as a start page. And there was this news that uh, they hunted a mountain lion down because he killed a dog. You, you really have to think about it. They hunted a, land, hunt, a mountain lion down because he killed a dog. And it only was in the news because the mountain lion was terribly deformed. And they asked why he was so deformed. But anyway, animals don't kill because they hate us, don't kill because they want to revenge, don't kill because they just have fun on killing, like men do, like hunters do, because they want to kill. Makes me so sick and I'm so tired about it. But anyway, man is doing this. But man has responsibility for this planet and when we don't see this then we will be very fast, very alone on this planet. You know. And this is the way it will be go. It will go, probably. Because the animals and the oceans are near extinctions. Then the rainforest is down, the Amazonas is just a chemical soap, you know, because of mining companies, and so on, and so on, and so on. And my question is how we can stop this on this earth, on this planet, which is not only the planet for mankind, it's also the planet and it was made the planet for to be for all beings and species. It's crazy. It's really crazy and it goes really deep because sometimes uh, there are several, I wouldn't say uh, religions, but also histories. And when we take the Sumerian history, it said that mankind is created by the Anunnaki. And this would explain that we just fit into this into the biological system of this planet. Man was set into a perfectly functioning system and destroys the system because man doesn't fit into it, you know. And he will move on until there's nothing left. That's for sure. Expect. I accept, sorry, accept there would be a biblical end of this, like Jesus which came. And there's also an interesting line in the old scripture in the Bible where it's said or written challenged or whatever, doesn't matter, no discussion about this here now, said, and see, I will create a new earth and a new heaven. And the things that were will, uh, will not be remembered or come to mind, doesn't matter now. It's really important to see the statement and see, I will create a new heaven, but a new earth. Too. That could only mean that this earth is totally, totally destroyed by man. And so they have to be created a new earth. And with new life, animal life on it. But such a case this is all just a mystery. And the things go on and on and on like they go on. So man will soon be very lonely and and 
I don't know if people don't care about it. I mean, if I, we, we then will realize when we just alone with Lifestyle, then we are lonely in comparison to the time before where here were thousands and thousands of different kinds of animals and it's just wonderful and thousands and thousands and thousands of different kinds of plants and it was just wonderful and what have men done to it so I donate to some uh, constitutions and I have a female friend who donate very much to all those constitutions like WWF and uh, Four Paws and several others and but people cannot stop this institution cannot stop this as long as countries or states and governments don't stop this because with the laws this all is allowed it's allowed to destroy habitats of animals for example in Canada there is a habitat for around if there was I don't know if it still exists for the biggest uh, gathering of um, uh, mountain goats around 4,000 to 5,000 white mountain goats and there should uh, is uh, allowed to build a copper mine, an open pit mine, so the mountain goats, for up to 5,000 mountain goats, lose their home. And you know, I, I was along in this business a long time and I uh, know that most copper miners cannot even reach the break even point and the cutoff grades, you know, on a longer term. It's just that banks. And some CEOs can make money, and for that, they destroy a whole environment for nothing. And it's an open pit mine, you know, with explosions, with you can hear miles and miles and miles in the mountain ranges, you know. And the goats will escape, and when they're in other regions, they just will be killed by men. But it's allowed because the government is totally corrupt in Canada, in the USA, in European countries, in African countries and in Asian countries. And that is why it's going on, but the governments and the laws are the only one who can protect animals, wildlife, plants, all. And at the end, finally, man himself. Because we need air to breathe, we need clean water to drink and we need other beings who live with us on this planet. And the only thing I guess which every single one can do is to help animals and protect nature in our nearest environment, in our vicinity. And this is my hope and this is my message to you. Anyway, I send you all my blessings and also being in the world, in the world. Oh, on other worlds too, you know. Namaste, my friends, in Lakesh.